in the last video i showed you how you can dynamically open a trading view chart using a concept offered by trading view known as trading view widgets uh, so we created an input field and populated it with all the symbols from binance and then we have linked it to the chart so that we can dynamically open any chart that we want okay so in today's session we'll optimize sorry not optimize but enhance the tool by adding it by adding a bit more functionality so instead of just one input field we'll add two input fields one for all the exchanges and the other one with the symbols corresponding to that exchange so that way we can select any exchange and any symbol that we want okay let's get started i've created a new folder trading view widget part 2 and i've just copied the files that we used in the previous uh, session okay so we have used this exchange info.js file uh, to populate all the input fields we don't need this anymore so i'll delete this i'm also taking it away from the code first i'm going to create a new input field i'm going to call it exchanges we don't need any on change function right now so i'll just delete it we'll add it later then here is where we populated all the symbols so let me delete the previous code let me refresh the page and show you how it looks like so we have two input fields and nothing is populated right now so you see them empty and uh, by default it loads binance some random chart so let's in order to populate the input fields we're going to use an api offered by crypto watch which is crypto watch markets so this api gives us all the exchanges and all the symbols corresponding to that exchange so let's call this api and download all the symbols and exchanges okay first i'm going to need a function to simplify my api calls so let me just copy that and be right back okay this is the function that i'm going to use to make the api calls so first request the first parameter is the api type the method it's a get api sorry in caps and then we have to pass the url let me copy the url so if i call this api as it is it's going to cause cors issue and i've talked about talked about cors issue in the past so i'm not going to repeat it so instead of so i've i've talked about some chrome extensions that we can use to overcome the cors issue but what i've noticed recently is that a lot of the chrome extensions are not working anymore so they are uh, they don't resolve the issue so i've created my own rest proxy i'll sh i'll share this proxy as well so i can just start this proxy and use it to make all my api calls so all i have to do is just append this url at the beginning to any api that i want and it can match it will magically call the api for us and give us a response back okay yeah, that's it so you don't have to worry about how this works because it, this happens behind the scenes and it's not truly relevant to our our session today so all i have to do is just append this endpoint to this uh, proxy url okay once we get the response we want to capture all the exchanges and the symbols in in a in, in a variable i'm going to use two arrays first one is to store all the exchanges the second one to store the exchange and the corresponding pair the reason i'm storing this in array is so that i don't have to call the api every single time i change the exchange so this happens i can store the information so that i can reuse it again and again okay Once I load the symbols, I need to sort it in alphabetic order. Then I want to load these exchanges and the pairs in the input fields. So by default, I want to select the first exchange as Binance, and the first list of pairs will be all the symbols corresponding to Binance. So let's do that. once i populate the input fields i want to load the charts so let's do that 
one last thing that we have to do is we don't need to run this load charts here because we want to run it only after we get all the input fields and get get the symbols and populate the input fields and we also have to update the load charts function with another variable called exchange and we have to pass it here that's it let's restart this and see if it works or not okay so before i do that okay the proxy is running fine let me restart and see let me restart this uh, page and see if it works or not awesome so the page loads up properly so this is great and you see the default exchange is binance and you see all the symbols from binance and if even if you select this and look at all the exchanges they are sorted in alphabetic order so this is great even the symbols are sorted in alphabetic order so this is great the only thing that's left is whenever i change i when i when i change the symbol the chart gets updated automatically because if you look at the code the the pair symbol is already linked to load charts but whenever we change the exchange we need all the symbols from that exchange to be populated here so let's write the function for that i'm going to call this function refresh pairs so first let's get the exchange then let's iterate through ep array and populate all the pairs from that particular exchange that's it one last thing to do is link this function to this input field refresh pairs that's it now let's change the exchange and see if it works or not we refresh the page okay by default it loads binance and the symbol and the chart loads properly now if i change the exchange to let's say bitfenix okay yeah so it when i click bitfenix the symbols got automatically updated and even the chart got updated automatically and the, the reason it's not opening is because of because it's an invalid symbols so it's quite possible that some of the symbols are no longer active or you know no longer being traded on the exchange and sometimes even the notation might be completely wrong so it works in most cases but some there might be some exception so if i select agi eth this should open up yeah it opens up fine so so there you go th th that's a small video just to show you how you can enhance uh, what we created in the last video to add even more functionality okay and i'll also share this rest proxy so if you have been using the chrome extension that i've shared in my other videos to resolve the cors issue and if it doesn't work you can start using this proxy internally to to overcome this uh, this cors issue okay